Hey everybody, today Rado runs through Santa Monica, but before I get going, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that when I make rules goofs, you'll know what they are. And if you've done that, then welcome to sunny Southern California, folks. It is the Santa Monica Beach, and in this game, each player has their own little slice of paradise that they are trying to get the most uh, lucrative and attractive features installed on. And I've got the game almost set up here. There's a few last steps. First of all, we have to find out what our sand dollar bonuses are going to be. These are all two-sided, so I'm just going to shuffle them up a bit and flip them a little bit. You never know what you're going to get, and this time we've got that. That one and that one. All right, and these other ones, well, they're out this time. Also, we have to find out what uh, bonus points we can be chasing after. These are not two-sided, or, or they're the same on both sides. So let's see, which one will it be? This one. Okay, so each one of these always has a way you can score points at the top for waves, a way you can score points for people that are in your area of Santa Monica, and then they have some other miscellaneous scoring option. So these are, everybody's going to be competing to be the best at those. These ones are out of there. And then finally, uh, each player is going to get their starting tile. And in reverse turn order, these will be chosen. So first of all, let's get a couple of them randomly. That one and that one. Okay, we've got the post office and we've got ocean floors. All right, which seems like a little uh, grocery, neighborhood grocery store. Okay, and now, so the uh, the villa and the newspaper and the the big high rise and the uh, the other nice looking apartments aren't in this game. So Jen gets to pick one of these, and what she's doing is, first of all, she's choosing what starting bonus she'll get. In this case, she gets two VIPs. In this case, one VIP and a sand dollar, and also choosing an in-game bonus you could be chasing after. So, Jen could be trying to get one point for every beach, or I'm sorry, no, every uh, wave and every sporting space that her VIPs would visit. Or she can take this one, which will give her one point for every local business and every local hangout that the uh, VIP visits. So, Jen's got to pick one, and then I get the other one. And then there'll be one last step before we get going. So, which does Jen want? Well... If she looks up here, oops, hey, this is wrong. No, that's right, that's fine, that's fine. If she looks up here, there are several beached cards out. These two have waves, these two don't. Uh, let's see, there's one, two, three. Oh, wow, there's a lot of sports options. Almost every card available to draft has sports options. And on the flip side, business, business, local hangout business. There are less right now, business and local hangouts. So I think Jen will choose the ocean floors, which means she's given me this one. And finally, as the last player, Jen chooses where the food truck starts. And that's an interesting decision. Okay, so Jen wants to get sports and waves. So, ideally, she would like to get any of these three because they've got sports. This is a tourist hangout, or a tourist spot and a business, so she cares a little bit less about that one. So, and, and she knows, interestingly, that I like, yeah, she's going to put this here. So the food truck is here, which means the foodie goes two spaces away. It goes right there. And now, setup is done, and the game has begun. And I am the first player, as I said. So what do you do? Most of the time, you are going to take one of these three cards that are on offer. These ones are available later. If somebody took this card, this one will slide down and then become available, and then a new one comes out. Most of the time, that's what you're going to do. And then whether it's a street or beach, you are going to extend off of your starting so you can get more and more of your local attractions in play. Now, there are a couple of considerations. One, sometimes cards have bonuses. Sometimes uh, cards give you, uh, you know, activities they can. But really, right now, the big thing is if you take the card where the food truck is, you will get a bonus of an extra sand dollar, which is the currency of the game. These could be very important. Uh, you need these to be able to do sand dollar actions. To do this one, you need to spend two. To do this one, you need three. So getting sand dollars is great. So if, if uh, I were to take this, in addition to getting this, you know, surf shop this surf stand, I would also get a sand dollar. Oh, and I would, oh, 
Okay, well, mm, all right. Um, on the flip side, if I take this one, I would have the opportunity to move one of my people, either the VIP or a tourist or a local around from space to space, which there's various reasons I do that. Speaking of which, that makes me forget. I Remember I said I start, or Jen starts, with two VIPs on her location. I start with one VIP and one sand dollar, which I totally forgot to do. Okay, now... And the reason Jen put this here is because she's trying to entice me to take this card because I'll get a bonus. Because once a card is taken where either the foodie or the food truck is, that moves forward to the next one. And Jen really wants to take this. Um, right. But does she? Because if she takes this, remember Jen's planning on getting a lot of sports because she wants her VIP to visit sports areas. So she takes this. This is a sport area and a shop. But... If she gets this one, this card is worth three points if it's adjacent to a sports area by the end of the game. Hmm. Yeah, thinking about it, I think Jen is actually going to start the food truck over here, which again means the foodie is two steps away. So she has now set the stage for me, hoping that I will take this one. And she thinks I might because she knows I want businesses on in my uh, oceanfront property, and this card is worth two bonus points at the end of the game if it's next to a business. So I say, sure, yeah, let's do it. Although, if I take it, that's one of the sports that Jen would have liked because she wants more sports spaces for her VIPs to go visit. But still, she did this, and so now I've taken this card. I get no immediate benefit. This doesn't give me sand dollars. This doesn't give me um, extra people to come to my section. and But it does give me this in-game scoring bonus. And I put it here or here. My choice. Let's go ahead and put it like that. And so now I've got a sporty tourist area, neither of which I particularly care about because I want local hangouts and I want businesses. But if I put a business here or here, then uh, this card will be worth two points. And in the meantime, this card also gives me another goal. By the end of the game, I can get four points out of it if I get two tourists on this space to play. I don't know. what What is this game? Somebody tell me. It looks like throwing beanbags through a hole or something like that. I'm sure it's a very popular beach-style game. So I want to get tourists to my area, and I want to move them to this card so I can get more points out of it. All right. And... Um, because I took the card that was here, I get the bonus of the sand dollar. I'm rich! Rich, I tells you. And uh, Jen says, yeah, that's fine, because now the van moves over here. And Jen thought it. She decided she wants that as well. Okay, so Jen now... Uh, oh, and a new card comes out. Jen has a choice. She could take any of these. And if she takes this one, she'll get a sand dollar. And she gets this point score, uh, because she is planning on doing sports. So yeah, she'll take it. And, all right, and uh, the truck will move on. Because she did the truck, she gets a sand dollar as well. This card slides down, a new one comes out. And, oh my gosh, look at all these sporting opportunities. Okay, and, again, this is also a shop and a tourist attraction. Although, Jen doesn't particularly care about either of those things. But anyway, Jen is going to put this somewhere. You can see it's on the street, so it's going to go here or over here. And this will be worth three points if Jen puts a sports area next to it, which she's totally planning on doing because there's all these sports out here. All right, so that was Jen's turn. It is now my turn. And things have really converged to me quite nicely because if I take this bicycle stand, which is a business, which I like, plus I'm keeping a sporting thing away from Jen, so I don't mind that. If I take this, both the foodie and the food truck are here, which means I can use both of their actions. I can get a sand dollar and I can move a person around, um, which would be good. Or I can get two sand dollars, or I can get two movements. So I can do two of these once or once of them twice. So yeah, I think there's no getting around it. I got to take this, mister. I install it. Now, um, this is a business. It is a sports area. And this wants to be next to a business, so I'll slip it in right here. And now, I just scored two points off of this. Also, because I've done this, I immediately get the benefit of moving one of my people up to four spaces. And now that's kind of a waste, actually, because I've only got one person. And I can move him all over the place, but I, there's only one place this VIP wants to go. He wants to see businesses, so I'm just going to move him here, and I'm wasting those other three steps. Ouch! 
Especially because, hold on a second, especially because I would have gotten the, I mean, I can move him because, ah, maybe I'm not going to take that. Maybe. Maybe. Also, I should say, another thing this card does is it uh, provides an activity. You can see all these bicycles. If I get one local onto this card by the end of the game, this card is worth an additional two points. Uh, because locals like to ride bicycles, apparently. So yeah, I mean, I'd like to get that for that, but I don't want to waste all that movement. And I should be thinking about what else do I want. Um, well, for, particularly, I want businesses. So I do want this. It's a business. I want local hangouts. And if I look into the future, I can see, well, there is if fishes were dishes, which uh, seems like a place I'd like to eat on the beach. This is nice um, because it serves either. It's a local hangout and it's a shopping place and it's sports. And it's worth three points if it's next to a wave card. And it brings in one local person, which is another opportunity to score points. Now, here's the problem. I can't get this right now. On your turn, you can only take from these four, then they slide down. So if I, t if I take this, I'm giving Jen this opportunity. But remember, I've got two sand dollars, and they're not worth anything necessarily. I could spend those two sand dollars, uh, which means I could take a business, a nature space, or sports from anywhere, and then I could move two people one space. Very interesting. I think that's very interesting. Although, before I make my decision, I should think a little bit more about what are my other goals. Most every time I take a card, I'm going to create a goal for myself. I'm trying to get people in the right spot or put other cards next to it. But as part of setup, we've got these things as well. So, I each player gets three points for each individual separated wave group. That One of the other ones, basically gives you points for ha for having one long contiguous wave group. This one gives you crew, uh, points for each wave group, but um, you want them to get bigger and bigger. This one wants you to have lots of tiny individual waves. So that's something to bear in mind. Waves are valuable. Three points for every wave I can get separated from other wave groups. I lose. It's uh, These bottom ones are always you lose points based on unplaced people. If at the end of the game... I've got a person who is not engaged in an appropriate activity. Like if I had tourists and I had not gotten them over here to this tourist spot, they will actually lose me. Well, I'll lose one point for every card that has an unplaced person on it. Instead of uh, losing a point for every two people about, while gaining a point for every filled up activity or Whoever has the most unplaced people loses four points. And um, second place for that loses two points. So, And then finally, there's this other one. Three points for each of my um, chains that have at least three cards in it. That is very interesting because some cards will reward you if you create a chain of cards. If I can make a chain of nature, if I get the aqua uh, aquarium, <laughs> the, uh, on my space, and it's a nature space, and if it's connected directly to a chain of four others, so there's at least five total, then I will get a number of points equal to the length of that chain. So chains are very cool anyway, but this is saying long chains are worth additional points. So with that in mind, maybe that informs, well, this is the only chain card that's come out so far. And there's no, I mean, waves are a really big deal. So... While I could get this and get this bonus, this is the, these, the, there's only two wave cards right now. I'm feeling like I should snag that one while the snagging is snaggable. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one, which means I don't get any benefit immediately because the foodie and the food truck are far away. I'll put it someplace. It doesn't give me any, it doesn't bring any new people in. Doesn't give me any sand dollars. But I've got a wave, which means this wave is worth three points. And now what I don't want to do is put a wave right here because then I've got two waves in one group. It's still only three points. Now I want to put a, something in between and then put another wave or put a wave over here. So I went for that. I'm going waves. And I've got a spot now. Here's another beachside game, uh, rolling big marbles around. Somebody actually told me the name of this. I don't remember the name of it. But anyway, if this card is worth four points in the game, if I can get any three people, any of the types, the VIPs, the tourists, or the locals playing this game, that's four more points. And remember, um, if I have people who aren't engaged in activity, so this is really nice. This one needs tourists specifically. This one could take anybody. All right, so there we go. I took that, sliding on down, and it is Jen's turn. Okay. 
And uh, Jen says, hey, I'll take it. No problem. She'll go on ahead and take this. And where will she install it? It's on the street, so it's got to go here or here, obviously. And, um, right, so she'll put it here. And it's weird. Jen's got two businesses now, which her VIPs don't even care about. But sooner or later, a card might come out that says, hey, have a chain of businesses. So if I do this, I might want to leave this space open so that I could put a chain of businesses here. And uh, But don't forget, even if I don't have a card that gives me a chain, if I put a third business here, I will get three points for having a chain with at least three things in it. Interesting. So I put that there, and um, a couple of things happen. First of all, I get to move one person up to four spaces. And I will move, again, this is kind of wasteful. I'll just move this for, uh, this VIP here, and then here. And uh, he could move further, but I, I can't split it. He is going to stop here. And because he has arrived at a sporting area, I get a point for every wave or sporting area he visited, and I mark that like this. Boom, I just scored a point. Now, it doesn't matter. If this VIP comes over, I won't get an extra point. I can only get one point per card. So, um, I did that. I, I, right, and so I've got a place where, uh, where, I mean, this VIP, he could end up here at the end of the game. Um, although, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Only cool people, I'm sorry, only the locals use these bicycles. So the VIP isn't going to use that. Sooner or later, I want to get a local and I want to put him in this space so I can get two additional points. All right. So that was that. Then I get my sand dollar and I get to move somebody else. I'll move this VIP up here so he's on the beach. And if I start making sports out here on the beach, I can have him go visit those sports, and maybe I'll have this guy continue to visit sports on the street. I, you know, it gives me having two VIPs gives me more flexibility to chase those. Um, so I moved. I, I took a sand dollar and I moved. Although I didn't have to move him at all, I could have just taken another sand dollar because I could have done that twice. Yeah, well, but you know, but there are at least two other beach sports I'm hoping to get. Two sand dollars is enough for now. I'll move him up there. And now, what happens is, when you activate both of these, when you activate the single, it just moves clockwise once. You know, they keep on going around. Or if, I, if I'd activated him, he moves once. But if they're together and I activate both, the van then takes off and drives two spaces. Okay, so that was my turn. Or Jen's turn, I should say. It is my turn now. And I need to start bringing people into my beach. Um... And, oh, look at this, which just fell into my lap. Another wave. I think I will take this. Okay, I'm taking it. I don't want to put it here because then I'm extending an existing group of waves. I don't want that. So I'll put this breaker way over here. It will bring in another sand dollar. It will bring in one local. Okay. And um, because I went where the foodie was, I get to move somebody. And this local needs to get way over here. He's got a long walk ahead of him. So let's just go on ahead and have him move one space, and then the foodie moves on. So he's start, he, he doesn't want to play this tourist game. He wants to go over here and play this much cooler game. All right, sliding on down, coming on out. And it is, is this a skateboard park? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a, you know, the I can have a muscle beach if I want. Okay, so it is Jen's turn. So Jen wants to grab some more of those sporting areas. And hey, here's one right here. She will go on ahead and take this, although this is a problem. Jen, this is a street one. So if she puts it here, then hey, this is another sport. Some volleyball that this a VIP could come and visit. That's nice. But um, it's making it more difficult to put a third business here to get a, a chain. Although, 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 it's okay. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize. Look at that. Jen already has a chain of three businesses. And she could put another business over here. She could even sometimes get um, beach businesses. So that's fine. But anyway, she's already got a chain of three businesses. She will go on ahead and put this here. And um, that's another sporting area. Two of any type want to come play some volleyball to get four points. And because the foodie was here, Jen will move over. And she just got another point. Okay. And the foodie moves, sliding on down, and it's my turn. And now, ah, the doubler has fallen into my lap again. And now I've got more people that are worth moving around. Although I can't believe it. I still do not have a business or a local hangout for this VIP to go check out. Because my starting card does not count. They have to go visit actual cards, not their starting area. 
<clears throat> so what do I want? What do I want? Do I take this? It's on the street. It doesn't do anything for me, but it's a chance to get five points if I get three people on there. I'm not that excited about it, quite frankly. Um, but I don't want this wave either because, hey, I'd have to put it here or here, and I need to put a non-wave beach out before I put another wave out. But hey, I want businesses, right? My VIP wants to go to local businesses and cool local hangouts. Let's get if fishes were dishes. Let's go on ahead and put it down right here because this is worth three points if it's next to a wave, which it is. So I just scored three points. I got another local to show up. Uh, for that, and I, unfortunately, don't get any benefits. I, I can't move anybody around. But now, this local wants to move over here. This local wants to get over here to play this game. This VIP wants to come over here and visit the local uh, business. So that's pretty nice. Slide. Reveal. And it is Jen's turn. Oh, here's another wave. Suddenly, having a group of waves isn't qu the end of the world. Because if you get this, and it's part of a chain of waves, it can get, be worth more points. Plus, it brings in a sand dollar. Hmm, okay. So, what do I want? What do I want? I want more sports. I would also like waves. I don't have any waves yet. This is perfect for me. Although, again, I'm just throwing away the opportunity, but nobody wants this. Because who knows if, I, you know, if I'm going to get enough people to actually fill this up to get the five points. I mean, I've already got a space I've got to fill up. Jen's got a space she's got to fill up. So, I am going to take this. Because it's more sports and it's waves. And, let's see, if I put this here, then uh, a sports, 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 I've just made another chain of sports. So that is pretty cool. I just scored three more points there, plus three points for a lone rogue wave coming. And I've got another place that I've got to get people. All right, so that was that. Sliding on down. I should say, that was Jen. That was Jen getting that. Okay, back to me. Now, okay. Um, right. So I would like to get some more sand dollars. I've already got four. But remember, I've got these four sand dollars. They're worth nothing to me. I could use them to pay all three of them to take any card I want from the back and move up to four people one space. I've, and I've got three people. So I could, I could actually make some pretty good use of this right now. Hmm. Where are... Or I could get a chain of sports. I've got two sports right here already. This might be kind of interesting. And here's the thing. I know it's very interesting for Jen because I can see she already wants that. So I think I am going to snag this one. And again, this one goes unloved. I'll put it right here. This brings in two locals. And um, this uh, is worth a total number of points of a chain. If the chain is at least three, and this is sports, 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 so I've just made a chain, and if I keep this chain growing, it can be worth more and more and more. Plus, it's another local hangout. So, my VIP would like to visit this and this. Okay. Right, right, right. So, that is very nice. And now, I've got the three locals I need to come here and play this game. Well, I still need tourists to come over and, and play this game. Right. So, that was that. I didn't get any more bonus. Sliding on down. And it is Jen's turn. And what does Jen have in mind? Okay. Another wave, but she wouldn't want to put it here or here because she wants to keep her waves separate unless she goes for this card, which you know gives her points for having waves together. But still, there's a lot more points. If Jen puts a wave over here, go ahead and start separating us. Our, our beaches are getting bigger. Okay. So, hmm. And don't forget, I mean, Jen could take any of these because she could do the. Uh, she could take a business, a nature, or a sports from back there if she wants it. And right, this is interesting. So this is worth three points if it's next to um, one wave, or five points if it's next to two. So that's pretty cool as well, and that'd be a good way to separate a couple of waves. Okay. Wow, a lot of choices. And again, just another sport to continue. I mean, you can put this volleyball up here and continue Jen's chain of sports. Oh, wait, <gasps> wait, no. Jen doesn't have a chain of sports. I took the thing that was a chain of sports. Oh, right. This just this was worth three points for being next to a chain. Hmm. 
Speaking of which, there's this one, uh, Chain of Nature, although Jen doesn't have any natural attraction, so that one's not particularly interesting to her. This one, if, J if anybody gets a chain of at least four locals, that's six points. Nice. And a local and a sand dollar. Jen doesn't have any local attractions yet. Can't believe this is just sitting here so long. It's a sand dollar. It's a free move. Well, that's the problem. Jen doesn't have anywhere to move. She needs to put something here so this guy could start moving over here. Or instead, she can move this guy back up here and here. Hmm. So, this is interesting. I don't know if I normally do this with three, but if I get this and put this wave here, then I could get this wave, put it there, get a chain of three waves... Plus, then I ultimately I'd get this as well, which wants to be next to a chain of waves. So those are options also. Interesting decisions how this is, is starting to evolve. But you know what, folks? I think I'm going to stop right there because that should give you a pretty good idea of the basics of Santa Monica. And if you want to hear some final thoughts now, you can hit that I in the top right corner of the screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.